So, you know, the Emain Khalif whole thing, uh, the Olympic boxer um, that went up against that, that uh, I don't know her name, Angela or something like that. Uh, but she was representing Italy. So it was Algeria and Italy. So basically they fought each other for 46 seconds. Uh, Emain punched her twice. In a boxing game, I mean, I'd, 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 I'd hope that would happen in a boxing match, right? I mean, it's... We're not playing golf here, like, what the... F so, basically, Angela, I believe, uh, Carini, she pretty much complained that she got punched too hard. No, I mean, it's the Olympics, I don't think she's gonna go, like, she's gonna be like, oh, ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Like, they're not practicing. Okay, so, obviously, she got punched twice, and she forfeited the whole... She left the game she was like i can't do this anymore basically thank you Mingo, for this i appreciate it and so i don't know where the fuck this came from like i genuinely don't know it, it literally just spawned out of nowhere okay it's crazy because it was i was uh, on my way back from texas when i saw this tweet <laughs> and you know like those like super right-winged uh twitter pages and stuff like that dude i blocked it out of like so many of them Okay, but I guess this one I, I've never blocked and it's like one of the most popular ones. It's called N Wokeness. God, one of the most terrible pages on Twitter. Like literal brain rot. And I've noticed this about Twitter recently. They're really, really trying to push an agenda. Like a lot of hatred. I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that. So what do I do? I just block it. I don't want to deal with that shit on my timeline. But today, or the, not today, but like the, the, you know, the day I saw this, uh, the 1st of August, they were basically pretty much spreading media disinformation okay now the thing the difference between uh media mis uh you know obviously misinformation and disinformation a lot of people think of misinformation think about misinformation when you see misinformation on the inter uh, on the internet a lot of it is unintentional disinformation is essentially what a lot of these pages are doing they're purposefully spreading lies all right I saw this post about Angela, um, uh, the fight between Angela and Emain, right? And it, it, it didn't take me too long to like find the actual answer to this post, right? So people were basically saying that she was a male. Absolutely not true. People are bringing up the whole XY chromosome. That wasn't even confirmed, okay? Like people are just spewing lies. And it's even crazier, that whole situation between like the the uh her being a female and having xy chromosomes like a lot of people just like don't understand how a lot of shit doesn't like a lot of shit works okay and i'm not like i know i act like a complete dumbass a lot of times but i know a lot about like this okay so uh the whole thing the whole rumor was that she was a male she has dick and balls and shit like that right and obviously that's not true she was born a female and she identifies as a woman but they're really pushing this agenda that she was transgender and she purposely like joined boxing and she just up women when that was never true never true and a lot of people are using that whole like oh well she has these features that look like male features which is a an excuse to say that wow she's a man because me as a woman i was born with a cooch right i've been told personally that i'm a man when obviously i'm a woman i was born a woman just because i got strong features does not make me a male it does not work like that i hate to break it to you right <clears throat> so the rumor was that she was she's a female born with xy chromosomes right which makes her genetically a male but what people don't know right is that it is possible you can google this yourself you can fact check this yourself it is possible for a female to be born with xy chromosomes okay does that make them like essentially a man no a lot of people um it also depends like there's different uh, intersex variations because intersex is a spectrum it's not just one thing and one thing only right so the thing about things like this you'd assume wow it just automatically makes them a male holy shit xy chromosome that doesn't work like that Okay, because she already has female characteristics. She was already born with, like, a fucking cooch, all right? She already identifies as a woman already, right? She was raised as a woman, and she was already identified at birth as a female, right? So, think of it like this. Imagine you were born, right? And let's just say, I'm assuming a lot of you guys are men. <clears throat> you were born with dick and balls. You look like a man, right? You're raised as a man. You know yourself as a man. 
One day, let's just say you decide to join the Olympics. You take a test. You discover that you have XY chromosomes. Or XX chromosomes. PPL right? XX is female. Where? Would you continue to identify as a man or a male, right? Or would you continue to identify as a female? Since genetically, you're a female. Answer that question. Would you continue to identify as a male? Or, a, or now that you know that you're XX, a female. Thank you for the sub, Miles. Super crit critical thinking question right here and right now. You say female. No, she's that, that's the thing though, boss. A lot of people are saying she's intersex. It's not confirmed that she's intersex. People, I don't know where the f people got that from. Like, it was never actually confirmed that that was true. But people are pretty much obviously like, they're saying that that's true. Because of the a test. And it's crazy because I believe it's called the IOC or something like that. They are no longer, they were literally known for being a little bit sketchy with like the stuff, you know? And, um,. They no longer, I think it's like the Olympics, they have like their own like thing now for testing. They no longer associate themselves with that specific IOC or IDC or something like that. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> yeah, and that's also another thing. People found out, she, uh, people found out she has XY chromosomes, right? People found out that she has XY chromosomes, right? And now they're acting like she's like the Terminator. Like, she's just annihilating every single, every single woman that she sees, like, in the, these boxing matches. That's not even true. She has a very, uh, okay record, uh, from what I've seen, 9 to 5, but it looks like maybe some outside boxing matches she has a lot more, but she still has lost before against other women. So I don't even know why people are bringing that up in a argument, like, she's, like, buffy or something. No, she's literally built, like, almost every other professional female boxer. Okay, a lot of female boxers, they're not gonna be built, like, like they got bbls and like that no like a lot of them have flatter chests a lot of them have like more brawly arms like a lot of them come off as more masculine as people would like to describe because they're muscular or whatever it's you know like people are just trying to they're trying so hard to like push this narrative of her and it's bad it's just literally terrible because people are believing it they see a Twitter post on the internet and they automatically ran with it. it got millions and millions of views even other content creators I've seen believe it too they didn't even like fact check it or anything like that <clears throat> even though it's been already confirmed she's a female literally brain rot okay Literally did not take that long to find out that she was a female. It's crazy because she has all these interviews and stuff like that talking about how difficult it was for her to box and stuff as a girl, you know, where she's from. Damn. Yeah, and it's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Algeria, they're very strict with this, uh, this kind of... Okay, if she was transgender, you think... Do you genuinely believe Algeria would let themselves have someone who is transgender represent them in the olympics that's never gonna happen it's literally not gonna happen okay the people are really 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 up okay so but the thing is she's not like she's already been like solid about the fact that she's not transgender like it's confirmed that she identifies as a woman and she was born a female right <clears throat> exactly i'm tired of this conversation she's a woman putting hands on other pro women fighters wow holy they're boxing women on women fighting wow that's crazy right i don't know if she's muslim or not um <clears throat> now um i'm just kind of like giving you a breakdown of essentially what's going on on the internet right now this is like probably one of, one of the biggest topics right now on the internet and uh first it started off with the disinformation of course people like pushing this narrative that she's transgender when she's not and it brought so much hate to her even though it's not true and <clears throat> people quickly immediately started disproving those lies like people stepped in they're like dude that is not true like this is not true these this is exactly what's going on this is exactly this is the truth this is not this is not the truth it's they debunked it ridiculously fast it wasn't like rocket science or anything it wasn't like a conspiracy fucking theory or anything it, it people started theorizing but claiming it as a fact when it was never a fact yeah 
and uh yeah yeah i also heard her also her opponent um apologize and stuff like that too i i mean i don't believe it i i think she just started apologizing just because she got backlash for it um no she's not on hgh she was naturally born with higher testosterone levels which is not the first time it's happened i think there was another track and star runner i believe she is her name is seminar or something like that i, I I'm, I'm not too familiar with her name but forgive me because i'm not the best with names but um no <laughs> Sir Luca, see, this is the shit I'm talking about. She, why she, no, they never said that she has XY chromosomes. <laughs> and even if she did, it's still possible for a female to have XY chromosomes because of intersex variations. Maybe like CAIS or some shit like that. That's, um, what is CAIS? CAIS, uh, complete androgen, uh, complete androgen, what was it? Insensitivity? In, in Insensitivity syndrome. I think that's what it is. Hold on, let me fact check it. That's why you normally like cut it short. C A I S. Um, meaning. Ah, I got it right. Complete androgen insensitivity syndrome. Ah, ha, ha, ha. big brain. Damn, I got that down. Mm 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 mm. -mm. Yeah, so uh, essentially when you're born with that condition, intersex variation, it's a, it's a type of variation. You can be born a female with XY chromosomes. That is science. That is reality. This is not something I'm just making up and pulling out of my butthole. Like this is, you can Google it yourself. Super confusing because obviously when you know, like, you know, the basic biology, you know, when you first learn about like the human body, like what's XX, what's XY, this is a little bit more complex stuff. And it can be very confusing to a lot of people that obviously just only know the basics, like, you know, male, female, you know. So, um, <coughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very confusing, but even if she was intersex, which is, has not been confirmed yet, she would still be a female because of the, that's already how they've identified her at birth. You know, she already has, like, these female characteristics. She's, she was born a female, right? She identifies as a woman. She claims she's not transgender. I don't think she is. I mean, she says it. Obviously, I don't think it would be true, you know? So, um, yeah. People believing lies, right? And now they're still believing it, despite, you know, the actual information being put out. And <clears throat> the thing about uh, a lot of people that are believing this, a lot of people who are believing this are on the right... <laughs> The right side of twitter if you know what i mean and they were very very offended and they a lot of people started making that assumption that holy shit, it's always these kinds of people defending uh people who are transgender so they're already insinuating some kind of like stupid shit, right and they already made the assumption that i'm a man which by the way they only made that assumption which is my profile picture is exactly why you need to be doing your research before you need to open your mouth Okay, because you look at this and you genuinely believe that was really me. Like, what the f That's Rami right there, bro. Okay, if, you, if you've been in the Twitter trenches, you know exactly who the f*** this is. Okay? I got tagged in a post after I said that sh right? And they were like, um, you literally have a mustache in your picture. Oh my god. You know what? At this point, I just go along with it. I'm just like, what, what, what the f is wrong? Like, what, what's wrong with this picture, right? Yeah, no, no, it's funny because none of them genuinely think that I don't that I look like this, right? Like, you know, this is me, right? This this picture is a picture of Rami that happens to look like me. I photoshopped it, like the lashes. You know, I did the brows a little bit, added some a little bit of eyeshadow. I feminized the f out of this picture. Right, it's been, it's been, this is my picture, okay? People look at this, they no longer think of Rami no more, they think of me, okay? Like, I, I took, I took his identity at this point. So, yeah, so there's like a lot of like, you know, interesting individuals, it's always the same demographic, I'm telling you this right now. <laughs> <laughs> always the same demographic um 
I'm not talking about race though. Like I'm talking about like there's always a specific type of people. Okay. Um, I'll show you an example of uh someone who was being dumb. As um, <laughs> dude, a lot of people are that are like making these like weird ass comments. Though they're they're like I'm not even trying to be mean or anything like, but they're genuinely ugly. Like I saw somebody that looked like Trevor, bro. Like like telling me that my man. Like I was like, dude, like you're worried about the wrong. Shit. Let me just tell you that right now. Worried about the wrong. Shit. Yeah, this dude named Tyler. So this is like the post I made. You know, it popped off. Blocked the shit out of that guy. Um, it popped off, right? Got 61 million views, 400 thousand likes. Blah blah blah. I was supposed to this because I thought it was hilarious. Got clocked so bad. She she swore I was a dude, right? And this dude posts like a picture of me, me, right? Like it was me. Yeah, that shit was a banger. Let me tell you that. Okay, I popped off with that tweet. I see it, and I'm like, well, what's what's the issue here? What the f is the issue here, bro? <laughs> what's the problem? I didn't clock that that was you at all. Well, that's good because honestly, I'm kind of okay with the idea of like people when they see my Twitter account, they don't think I'm a girl. You know, because you know how people are on Twitter. Like, they find out you're a girl and they, they automatically start doing weird shit. Like, I'm I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm okay with just being a meme. No gender on, on Twitter. I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. You know? Because they find out, like, you're a girl and, like, you're actually making sense. They, they, they'll they start coming after you. So, um... <laughs> I'm, I'm not even lying when I say this. Dude. People are toxic as on twitter like you should avoid twitter at all costs if you care for your mental health like i'm being serious i can smell the mole that my mom is making right now wow that's awesome okay i'm gonna show you guys the crackhead battle i know i was like i was taking a little long to kind of explain like the the lore and stuff but i also want you guys to know like the actual information like the true information even if it makes you uncomfortable i know a lot of people found out about info like this and they're just like holy shit, like i can't believe like science is sciencing like dude you need to understand like science isn't just like one two three like it's just too complicated okay there's a reason why we got people with big ass brains like studying like that and it, and pretty much helping us right expanding our knowledge as a human race right there are other people doing that for us because they they're more open-minded than a lot of us let's be honest you know like a lot of people find out about something and they just refuse to believe it's a real thing you know they just like to be comfortable with what they know suddenly they they come across something that they don't understand it's suddenly dumb 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 anyways so um this is uh this is essentially what i was talking about so that was my post right and this guy's like, oh, people acting like she's some god as well. Like she has a nine, like she has a nine of five record, which is true. Exactly my point. They act like she's genetically built like Mike Tyson or some. And this dumbass comes. <laughs> the four hundred people, almost five hundred that that saw this post, gotta be old people, bro. They got, oh my god, they gotta be old as. Okay, dude, I was one d like a thousanding like everybody in the chat, and I was winning every argument okay yeah i blocked him right after i ratioed the account yeah so this guy's like all the people defending him look like you pretty ironic and i was like well no not really I mogged them bro i mogged these fools okay and this guy's all like silly you still look like them well exactly we're all sexy as We're all sexy, bro. Like, I haven't met a single bad bitch. I haven't met a single bad bitch that has ever called me ugly. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, like I said, it's always it's always the ones that look like they're decomposing and shit coming off of me. And I'm not lying when I'm saying that. Like, I'm actually not lying. I'm not exaggerating. And you're gonna see exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So this person named Jules, oh, she was in for a wild ride i don't know what the f she thought this sh was okay one thing about this this is twitter and she doesn't know 
how I act on Twitter. I'm known for frying, bro. Okay, and I'm not saying like, oh my god, I'm flexing or anything like that, but it's 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 like a battle. It's like a boss battle that you know you shouldn't even be dealing with. Okay, this is this is essentially like me dealing with a tree sentinel when I first started playing Elden Ring, and I had no idea what 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 the dude with the horse was even capable of. This is. This is probably one of the worst things she could have done. And it wasn't too hard for me to find out what the f she looked like. So, this is what I mean. You start agreeing with science, right? You s These are the same people that are like, Oh, uh, science. Uh, you gotta go with science. Uh, that's reality. Ha 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 ha. And then you explain to them the science and they're like, No, no, no f way. That, that, that can't be true. That cannot be true. See what I mean? Like, so, some shit just makes them uncomfortable. She goes ahead and says, Sorry, but the pants are obviously covering your Johnson. So she's basically a million f views and only 33 likes. Such a shame. <coughs> Good one. Good one, Jules. You got me there. Holy f How will I ever recover from this? You know, it would have it actually hurt a lot more if I actually had a you know, but, you know, that's essentially not true. So I'm totally okay with her saying things like this. So, you know, as you can see, she's getting attacked. You know, even this dude who's, like, literally known for ratioing everybody. He just went ahead and, like, stepped in and said, fitness therapist with an alcohol addiction. You're probably, like, wondering, what the f*** does that mean? You'll see exactly what I mean. So she went ahead. She said about me, right? I'm totally cool with that. Here and there, I'll respond to comments just because it's really funny my responses to like these kind of people it's honestly content okay genuinely content but they genuinely do this themselves okay is it right no not really but you know it's not right for them to go ahead and go out of their way and start making fun of people that are three times lower than their age let's be real this is the thing that went ahead and said i had a johnson in my pants okay i don't know what breed of human this is but she had the audacity it had the audacity to go ahead and say I had it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing. I was like, ma'am, you literally look like this. She's probably 28. <laughs> you know, it's actually terrible because she she's like, I'm literally 57. <laughs> like I and I, I I'm not even trying to be fed up, but look like she's dying like let's be real like, i mean let's be real um okay um <coughs> jesus christ um she she posted this thing My mom said the mole is ready. Holy shit, that looks exactly like her. I think she deleted it. What the f Ah, the bitch couldn't handle the pressure. That's what I thought. I saw her, like, fighting for her life for, like, at least... I, I stopped watching after, like, 15 minutes. I'm not gonna lie. Dude, she was fighting for her life. She was like, I make my own money, blah, 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 blah. And, like, dude, she was fighting everybody. She was fighting for her life. She's like, you guys are all gonna grow old. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna be growing old and, like, acting like this on the internet like you're acting old as shit, like really and like she was still talking like at two in the morning and I, I responded i was like dude you're still talking like you need to shut the up like actually like it's, it's just it's just better that way like please just it's not looking good you should you, you really need to check out the account i'm not telling you to like go ahead and harass her or anything like that you know she did this to herself i'm gonna be real with you okay like this shit almost got a million views okay like you're gonna be talking shit to me and you think you're all funny and shit because it's on the internet cool i can do the same thing too I could talk shit too, okay? Well, this isn't like, this isn't hard, okay? And not only that, I didn't even need to say much. Like, you literally look like that. Like, you literally did this to yourself. I didn't even need to say anything. You would think that people her age would have something to do than tweet all day. Well, I mean, that's, you know, she has a job, you know, she, she, she has it, you know, she's, She's just better, bro. She thinks I only make money from Twitter, too, which is like... I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing to make money from Twitter.
Uh... <laughs> So she posted a selfie under this. She's like, hell yeah, that's me. And then I posted this under, and then she deleted her shit afterwards. Hold on. <laughs> she literally deleted her shit afterwards. <laughs> I don't know why she thought, like, posting another selfie was gonna, like, do her, like, justice. And she goes ahead. I blocked her, so I have to like unblock her messages. She's like, You're going to be old one day, but unlike you, I have my own money and aren't depending on my girlfriend to buy my happy meal. So f stupid, because like, first of all, like, I make my own money. Second of all, I'm not gay. Like, I'm straight. I'm a straight woman. So it's like, I don't know what you think you're f doing. She's also, she's kept saying slurs and shit. like, she started dropping the N word. Uh, she started calling people the F word too. She called me an F word, I think. Like, She's just one of those people that is just like, dude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm never gonna be old. That's just simply, like, impossible. Like, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die at a young age. Like, it's just me old? It's not gonna happen. So I was just like, dude, I literally make my own money. Like, you f***ing prune? Like, what are you talking about? And I'll still be a bad f too, but maybe next time, don't project your nasty ass self onto younger women. Because that's essentially what she was doing. Why are you going ahead and you're like, you literally see a bad <laughs> Right? Oh god, her face just keeps scaring me. Jesus Christ. I should have put like a... Like a... You know when like, you, you could blur your pictures and stuff like that? Because of like trigger warnings and stuff? Like I, I should have like added that feature into the picture. Cause it, it genuinely me up. Don't feed into them too much. They think they, they won. No, when you look like that, you're never gonna win, bro. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you can't be... Like, I've been saying this for a long time. You cannot be ugly and call other people ugly. Like, it just does not work like that, okay? If you're hot as okay, maybe I'll let that shit slide. If, you, if, if, like, somebody... If somebody, like... Maybe, like, Aaron Taylor Johnson or something, or Michael B. Jordan went ahead and called me ugly, I would've been like, you know what? You're right. I'm ugly. I'll take that. Okay, that's fine. And you know what? Uh, like, I, I think my, my confidence would plummet. But I'd be totally okay with that. Why? Because these people completely mock me. Okay. Who determines who's ugly and who ain't? Well, she, she definitely doesn't determine who's, who's not ugly and who, who is. Like, <laughs> that's for Sure. I mean, at the, that point, the, the opinion is automatically invalid. Know what I mean? Um, I was gonna say also. Um, she saw this and she said I was tucking my Johnson, bro. But all the people were so upset when they saw this. They were pretty much like, well, if a maiden's not a man, somebody has to be a man. So so I, I had to take all the heat. <laughs> this guy's like most definitely a dude. What is going on, bro? This is the guy who said that? And you're ugly as f**k and the probability of having a loving relationship is zero to none? See, this is the f I'm talking about, bro. How do you look like this and you're saying this That just does not make any sense. Dude, what the f What is that? I'm actually just no, it's not fake. I don't think it's fake. Okay, if, so if someone else said that, that wasn't me. It obviously has to be true. Here, let me fact check it. Let me see. Oh, he's yeah. He has a weird a bunch, like a bunch of weird posts. What is this? Oh, no, it's him. He just looks like Ninja. Okay. Yeah. Okay, he looks like Ninja if he, like, somehow had a fall-off. What the f***? This is bad. Careful, TOS. Oh, 
is his face TOS. See what I mean, bro? Like, see what happens when you defend other people? Like, so, like I'm over here defending the fact that Emaid is a female and is a woman, right? And people are like, well, you know what? You must be a f man. I'm like, yo, what the f Like, why are you guys targeting me off? What the f Holy f dude. And it's always, it's always the ugly ones. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't get it. What's the drama? I'm beefing with the crackhead. That's the drama. I'm just kidding. I blocked her. Like, I, I think I said like a couple things, but like, that's about it. <coughs> no, but you know what? My, my, my advice to you guys, <coughs> stay away from Twitter, please. It's, it's terrible.